You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather. Coverage you can count on. Well, happy Sunday evening, everybody. Look at the sunset from Rattlesnake Peak from earlier this evening. The clouds starting to roll in, adding a moody scene to our sunsets for the last few nights. We haven't had really had any clouds, but this just looks gorgeous out there. In terms of our headlines tonight, we'll see some of those clouds building in overnight tonight. And that'll keep us a little warmer than what we've seen the last couple of days, but breezy conditions will be on the way, so be sure to hold on to your hats or plan to hold on to your hats this week. And we will be remaining dry for most of this week also, which is the thing we don't want to see this time of year. In terms of the next 12 hours or so, we have a chance for a few showers out towards the coast. Those will break up and really won't do anything associated with this cold front that will move through. Just a few clouds passing through by tomorrow morning, though sunny to start your day on Monday. And then a few clouds moving through by tomorrow afternoon. And then that's when the winds start to pick up for Northern California, although remaining sunny at least through Tuesday and even into Wednesday. Now, in terms of those winds, we will remain calm this evening, but by tomorrow afternoon, 2 p.m., we start to see things pick up, gusts up to about 20 miles per hour in the valley, and those will continue to increase overnight tomorrow night into Tuesday morning, gusts up to about 40 miles per hour possible, and then the winds sustain themselves between 20 to 30 miles per hour by Tuesday evening. So be sure to, again, hold on to your hats. We could see a wind advisory issued for the valley on Tuesday, although Tuesday, Wednesday, and even into Thursday, we, do, we see a beautiful clear sky. It's, we don't want to see it at this time of year, but it is something we will be seeing stick around at least through the end of the week. Chances for a few clouds here and there, but nothing significant in terms of precipitation. Derm uh, lows tonight, though, getting down into the mid-30s for the most part across the valley, so a little warmer than what we saw this time, or what, what we saw this morning and yesterday. Although, if you still want to go for a run tomorrow morning, you may want to put it off for a couple hours because it will still be cool and chilly. But you may even want to hold off for the afternoon because it, the winds will start to pick up. Highs for tomorrow, though, picking up into the mid-60s for the valley, low to mid-60s, and then the mid-60s towards the North Valley, 68 degrees topping off in Redding. And then the next seven days, we'll see temperatures hovering in the low to mid-60s for the Chico area. Breezy conditions possible Monday night, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, though mild conditions towards the end of the week. Redding just a little warmer in terms of temperatures, though still with the breezy conditions and much more mild conditions towards the end of the week and even some warmer weather on the way. That'll be without some of the wind, so that'll be interesting to see for Saturday and Sunday, but we need some rain and sadly it's not in the forecast just yet.